Where is she? Where's Helen? Where's Helen? Where's Helen? Hey, bro. Where's Helen? She went to get lunch, Ray. Italian. You take your medication? Where's the nurse? He's in the john again. How many times is that? Bum hides in there for hours. God knows doing what. It's ridiculous. Bet you he's the reason they call it the john. Hey, John, John. John. Where's Helen? She went to get lunch, right? Italian, I just told you. I know, I know what you're thinking. Why no Chinese, right? No, oh, it's a long story. Funny story. Scratch that. It's weird. Really weird. You know how Helen loves that place in the strip mall? Kung Pao USA? Not just because of the food, but because of the fortune cookies? You know, how they always have something nice to say, something peppy and positive. You bring happiness to everyone around you. Corny shit like that. You will be successful and rich. Shit that never comes true. <laughs> well, yesterday, she opens her cookie. Guess what it says? Have a shitty day. Have a shitty day. Can you believe that? Helen was stunned when she saw that. But hey, good predictions don't come true, so why would the bad, right? Wrong. She walks out to her car. It's covered in bird poop, like you've never seen before. The car's parked in an open space. No trees nearby. Get this. The SUV to the left. No poop. Minivan to the right. No poop. Helen's car. Poop. Lots and lots of poop. Now, you know how Helen hates to overthink things, so, so she doesn't delve on it too much. She cleans the car, drives through the 40, through the 405 in rush hour, and suddenly, out of nowhere, Crow smashes into the windshield. God, not again. John? Where's Helen? Help me out here, buddy. Scratch my nose, will you? Right nostril. This it's just killing me. Just a scratch. No pick, I promise. Where's Helen? I'll tell you in a second, Ray. Help me out here. Where's Helen? 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 Ray, stop. Stop, I'll tell you. Just give me a second. Uh, where was I? Uh, the crow. The, the crow slams into the windshield, right? Nothing happens to the bird. It just stands there on the car and glares at Helen for the longest time. And then takes a dump on her hood. Uh, soon, an entire flock follows and... Rains crap on the just-washed car. Again, nothing happens to any other vehicle. 
and target our car like there's some sort of bullseye there. Now Holland's freaking out. I mean, what are the odds of this happening? And so it's a fairy tale and the Wicked Witch curses you. She takes the next exit, heads straight back to Kung Pao, USA, orders another round of Kung Pao, breaks open the shell, guess what? Oh, here you go. Bad red and a lot of death. Bad breath and a lot of death. What a terrible rhyming or what? Helen walks back to her parking space. A jerk has rammed her car, left no note. Then she gets a text message from her credit card company. Hey, Ray, now that you're here, do me a favor, man, scratch my nose. Oh, my God, thank you. Okay, a little bit further up. The right nostril. Just keep going, please. No, 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 you're going the wrong way, Ray. I just need to buy my Where's right nostril. Helen? Please, Ray, you're almost there. Come on. Ray. Where's Helen? Uh, uh, Helen is uh, furious and confused and scared when she gets a text message. Um... Uh, meanwhile, a whole group of lost tourists pick her out of everybody at the mall for directions, and they'll have horrible breath. Like they've chomped down on a shitload of garlic, tuna, and cow dung. Anyway, she races back into the restaurant to show the cookie to the owner. Of course, he doesn't believe her, so she challenges him to open up another cookie. Cookie are only for pain, customer. So she goes for another round of Kung Pao, cracks open the cookie. Guess what? He took the phone with him? Into the bathroom. Our phone. Why the hell do you like this guy and not Brittany? We're paying this idiot double what we paid Brittany. It's just ridiculous. You remember Brittany, right? She was here before this butthead. Oh, it's somebody named her, right? She smelled like a Brittany. She smiled like a Brittany. Oh, she talked like a Britney. 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 She was God's gift to us, man. It's not like you're married. My woman ditched me years ago. But besides, we were just looking. Admiring beauty. It's a bitch being sober like this. Uh, having Brittany here made it so much better. Hell no, you want me to suffer, don't you? Where's Helen? What? Where's Helen? Uh, right, Helen. Um, she's on her third round of Kung Pao, you know, because of the two bad fortune cookies. She's hoping desperately that her luck will change with the third cookie. And for you will be known at Thunder Thai Helen. That's just plain rude, dude. Helen is perfect. I know that. You know that. She knows that. But with everything else going on, her confidence is shot. She's terrified what the cookie will do to her to make her Thunder Thighs Helen. And the owner? He's freaking out now. They open up every fortune cookie he has. <gasps> and he has thousands of them. <gasps> every cookie Helen gets says something terrible. So they head together to the supplier in downtown Chinatown. You're not going to believe this. That place has been out of business for months. Months. So who the hell's been sending all these cookies? Well, they race to the post office, 
See if they can track the shipments. See if they can figure out who's behind all of this. And get this. The cookies came from that same shutdown store. Every one of them. You think that's strange? Not even close. When they get back, there's a three-year supply of cookies waiting for them at the restaurant. The owner is determined to get to the bottom of this mystery, so he calls his master in mainland. Meanwhile, till the cookie situation is fixed, he bans all fortune cookies from the restaurant. Instead, you get a personal prediction and a brownie. Your smile is the key to success. Helen even got a copy and a memory stick. She shook the guy's hand, went for pizza next door. No more Chinese. Definitely no Kung Pao. Where's Helen? I just told you, right? Where's Helen? She's giving pizza. Where's Helen? Hey, John, John! Where's shut Helen? The... Come on, man! Where's Helen? We're not doing this every day. Where's Helen? 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 She's dead, Ray. Helen is dead. We were driving back from the show, and I was drunk like every other day, except, except I was driving. Helen didn't know. I had no idea what I was doing. I never saw the signal. I never saw the kid crossing. But Alan did. And she grabbed the wheel. She swore the car. We ended up in a 10 car pileup. My air bear. My air bear worked. So did everybody else's, but for some reason, Helen's didn't. It should have been me, Ray. It, it should have been me. But I guess the cookie wants me here every day so I can answer your question all the time for the rest of my life. Where's Helen? She's gone. Where's Brittany? What? Where's Brittany? You remember a lot more than you let on, don't you? Brittany's home, I guess. Maybe even waiting for our call. Unless, of course, that dirty old coot across the street snatched her up. You want me to check? Say the word. John John's out and Brittany's in. She'll be giving us a sponge bath this time tomorrow.
We're selling. Funny you should ask. Remember how I told you she was dead? That's what we all thought. Father Francis, the doctors, everyone. So they dress her up, put her in a casket, drop her down a six foot hole, fill it in. And you're bawling like a baby. Suddenly you decide you want to see her one more time, so you send everybody off. Dig down with your bare hands, smash open the casket. What do you see? Helen, alive and well and dressed in this $5,000 gown. She smiles and winks at you and says, April Fool's dead. Oh, you freak out. I mean, you freak out. You have never been so happy. You come running home to tell your brother, moi, but of course, I'm you know still knocked out from the accident. Meanwhile, she goes to get us some Kung Pao. Ah, uh, pizza. She goes for pizza. We're selling. She's sleeping, right? You hear that? She was beat. Walked in, plopped right into bed. Didn't even take her shoes off. Where's Helen? Thought you'd never ask. She went to get us dinner at your favorite place, Broccoli USA. You're not going to believe what happened. 